I'm Tracy Baxter with today's Record News Watch. Ladies and gentlemen, Punxsutawney Phil! According to the furry weather forecaster, Punxsutawney Phil, spring is right around the corner. That was pretty hard to believe earlier today as part two of this two-day storm brought us more snow underneath a coating of sleet and freezing rain, sending us back outside to shovel. And it was another day of hazardous driving, with the wintry mix causing more accidents and widespread closings and cancellations. The situation kept local police departments busy, and some local roads would be closed temporarily. At Mid-City Transit in Middletown, the school buses were idle once again as the Middletown District had to spend its fifth snow day today. Mid-City employees were preparing to get the vehicles in their school bus fleet ready to hit the road tomorrow. These make for tough days for us because, uh, as you can see, we're getting ice on top of the snow and uh, we have to move all of our uh, fleet of vehicles, clear the roofs and uh, clear them and get them ready for school tomorrow. So it's quite a feat to move uh, 130 uh, plus vehicles for us. We have a team of about between 12 and 15 people that come in and uh, they, we, uh, we have a little process here. We clear a parking lot, we pull the buses out, clear the roofs, clear the windshields, put them, park them in a lot, clear the lot and then put the buses back. <laughs> it's, uh, it, it's, it's a pretty... Uh, a long process. Not everyone was using shovels or snow blowers to clear away the snow and ice. Sometimes a leaf blower can get the job done just as well. And not everyone was using motorized transportation to get from here to there today. Now for complete coverage of this Groundhog Day ice storm and the trouble it's causing, keep clicking back to recordonline.com slash winter. Elsewhere, local state senator John Bonasek says Governor Andrew Cuomo has the people on his side when it comes to making the difficult choices. His comments came following the governor's release of his $133 billion state budget that features an assortment of cuts as well as 9,800 layoffs to help deal with a $10 billion state budget deficit. Bonasek and fellow lawmakers will now review the contents of the governor's belt tightening budget that also includes a 7.3 percent decrease in state aid to schools and a billion dollar cut in Medicaid spending. And while the region's le legislators agree with Cuomo's assessment that the state is quote functionally bankrupt, local assemblywoman Annie Rabbit labeled as shocking the governor's proposal to increase funding for the MTA. There won't be many smiling faces at tomorrow's special meeting of the Sullivan County Legislature. The lawmakers are expected to vote on a series of county employee layoffs that would allow county leaders to cut about $3.3 million from this year's budget. Legislators have uh, come up with a list of positions to eliminate after labor unions refused to forego 4% uh, raises and longevity payments this year. Uh, those pink slips would go out on Monday with the layoffs to take effect at the end of the month. And state police in Ulster County have arrested a Kerhongson man on a felony grand larceny charge for stealing a debit card from his girlfriend. 57-year-old Walter Relier was also charged with identity theft after investigators say he used the card at a local bank to withdraw $200 from her checking account. According to state police, Relier had learned her PIN number and used it to access her account. We could get another wintry mix of precipitation on Saturday, but between now and then, we'll get a much deserved break uh, from all this bad weather. We will welcome back the sun tomorrow, although temperatures won't get out of the 20s. Friday will be a mostly sunny day, with the highs again not expected to reach 30 degrees. For breaking news, including the latest winter weather developments, keep clicking here at Record Online and get a complete recap on all the day's events in tomorrow tomorrow's edition of the Times Herald Record. For Record News Watch, I'm Tracy Baxter.